Hey friends, Saturday, March 25th, it is time. We are gonna plant the garden. I've looked at the forecast 10 days out. Temperatures at night might be as low as 55, 56. I'm not worried about that. Uh, high temperatures, upper 70s, lower 80s, chances of rain. Uh, so we have a lot of plants here, guys. And right here are all the ones that we started by seed. We've got our okra, which is looking great. We've got tomatoes, peppers, um, different varieties. And then we also went ahead and got some store-bought, guys. I'm, we've got a really good nursery, local, organic. I am packing the garden this year. So Rochelle and I, she's putting sunblock on. We went up today, we got a bunch of flowers, um, some more. Um, lemongrass or lemongrass did not do very well with the freeze so we're going to replant it i, I n normally bring some of it in but i didn't we've just been so busy but today guys it's just a video of planting and i'll show you some tips and tricks too about how we plant uh, our tomatoes peppers and things like that and some of the organic things that we use so ready it's going to be a two-day adventure today and tomorrow we'll put the video together and you guys hopefully will enjoy let's get to work Hey guys, we've got a decent little layout here. We've got a couple of, we we'll always plant marigolds when we plant tomatoes. We've got some cherries. We've got some yellow pear, another cherry variety, marigolds, beef master, Arkansas traveler. And then down here, we're doing our tomatillos. Now, well, those are store-bought, but we've got a bunch of our homemade ones too. Uh, Cherokee purples, beef master. So we're gonna be put, put dotting those in. I just want to show you guys when I plant tomatoes how I do it. Okay guys, let me show you how we plant tomatoes here in Central Texas. Now tomatoes naturally have a deficiency in magnesium, uh, so we're going to use Epsom salt, which is trace magnesium. I'm also going to put a little bit of uh, garden lime too, that also helps with disease control. Now guys, I'm going to plant this tomato really low so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off these lower branches and i'm going to get it down to where the stem is going to start to form roots quicker the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little epsom salt about a tablespoon then i'm going to put some garden lime that helps with disease again a tablespoon of course we're going to put bone meal which is phosphorus that's going to help with root growth half a cup and then blood meal that'll give it some good nitrogen to get started and i'll go ahead and just cover that a little bit so it's not a shock to the roots we're going to put that in there and we're going to cover it and one more step i take here as well oh it's hot today about 84. So one more thing i'm going to do is I'm going to take a landscape timber nail, or two of them, and I'm going to put it down here right along this, the main stem, about two inches. And that's going to stop cutworms. Could you grab me a, three of those little bamboo skewers up there? Miss Rochelle's going to get me some of them bamboo poles. Thank you. So I'm going to use this bamboo, and I'm going to poke it down in here and what that's going to do is if we get a windy night or a little bit of a storm that's going to kind of help support the branches this is how we've been doing it here in central texas for years we're going to get that watered in um, if i start seeing 
slugs or pill bugs, I'm gonna put Sluggo Plus. That works every time. Uh, we just did the last video. We poured some of that Sluggo Plus over there where we had pill bugs, got rid of them. All right, we gotta keep planting. Hey guys, we got a donation about a month ago from a subscriber, a Baker Creep, Baker Family Rabbitry, sorry, BakerFamilyRabbitry.com. They are in Killeen, Texas, uh, which is north of us. They, they have a rabbitry, uh, but they gave us some powdered manure. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead on this other Cherokee uh, purple, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, instead of blood meal, and we'll kind of see how it works. But hey, they're nice people. Uh, that they just gave this to us for free. They're they're really good friends and subscribers. So I'm going to go ahead and plug their uh, their rabbitry, BakerFamilyRabbitry.com. I'll put it in the comments. So let's go ahead and put this to use. Have some salt. A little bit of garden lime. Bone meal. And then Baker Family Rabbit dried manure about a half a cup and then here's our seed start that we started by seed no these are cherokee purples yes and they the plants themselves do get big the um the tomatoes themselves are beautiful um gorgeous yeah very i mean i'm i'm not much of a tomato person but i'll tell you i love these you cut them open and it's just all meat in the middle oh. um beautiful but the plants do get big our homegrown one started by seed is obviously smaller um so again good perspective in the idea that we're also using the rabbit um manure um just just to sort of test out if if there's a difference and we're gonna on the grow table too guys we're gonna go ahead and with our salad greens uh we're gonna try the the rabbit manure as well and hey you know it might be another good natural alternative uh, to fertilize your plants those of you that are big time homesteaders on a bunch of land you guys raise rabbits and stuff i'm sure you guys use that as well uh, but we just thought we would share that with you guys we're going to continue to plant and get busy we're getting it done guys so these these front row tomatoes we're going to go ahead and use the rabbit manure um Arkansas Traveler. Get them down deep. You know, sometimes too, guys, and you'll notice that I've got this space up front here. I'll plant the tomato to kind of the back of that row because what I can do is, is I can put a little thing of, of radishes in here and we can kind of rotate throughout the whole year. Um, if things are normal, <laughs> we can have a couple Two, two, three growing seasons here. Uh, zone eight, Central Texas. Okay. And you can tell them about the marigolds too. Oh yeah, and like Rochelle said, we plant marigolds uh, by the tomatoes because they, they are a natural bug repellent. The natural insect repellent. Yes. Okay, y'all. Been about an hour we got all of our tomatoes in we got about nine tomato plants we might pop a couple in maybe some two gallon on the grow table we still have some really young seed starts that we might keep uh, after we harvest the garlic and harvest the onions we can always come back in and pop them in the ground but we went ahead and put some of our hot peppers we've got our hot banana peppers right here we've got two of them uh, right in the middle uh, we've got our uh, scotch bonnets um, we, we got these seeds from Humble Homestead. Hey guys, we love your channel. Peace and blessings. <laughs> We've been to Jamaica a few times in our life and really love the scotchies. We love the jerk. We cook with it all the time. And again, guys, I'll put your link in there. We love watching your channel. Peace and blessings, friends. And then we've got a couple of uh, hot jalapenos. Now I'm also going to put some Italian red hot uh, and the grow tables, and we're just gonna kind of play around and move some stuff around. Now over here on this other side, you know, we still have some room, so we're gonna keep at it. We'll keep you posted. All right, guys, we are getting ready to plant some specialty peppers 
in our five gallon grow table. You've seen me do this before, but I'm making some potting soil. Peat moss, black cow, I did a bag of organic potting soil. Perlite, blood meal, bone meal, Epsom salt. We do an all purpose organic fertilizer. Uh, and then a little bit of garden lime. Mix it all together and you have an amazing soil. So I'm gonna finish mixing this and then we're gonna fill up our five gallons and we're gonna plant our peppers. All right, that looks good. Guys, we have five gallon pots. It must be food grade. You can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot. Make sure it's food grade. And we just put some holes in the bottom. Uh, and don't worry, the soil is not gonna go through. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these three quarters and then we'll start planting. What are you doing, Bones? You're not allowed in here. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna fill these up, guys. You guys, we don't wanna overcrowd them. Three, four. I could probably do five if I wanted to. Well, I can. I could probably add an extra one over here. I do need to go and buy some more. But yeah, like I said, we don't want to overcrowd. But now we're going to water them in. Just a little more, guys. I want to get it to where it's up to the leaves. Okay. Move that soil around, we'll pack it down. There we go, fluff it up. Now we're gonna put these little bamboo skewers in here. We wanna protect this plant. You know, we get these Texas thunderstorms while this plant is young and tender. Now with these in the pot, we don't put the nails because we really don't have to worry about cutworms. I've never had a cutworm with homemade soil that I made. And that's about it. And then we'll just lightly water that in and we're gonna continue on with all the other peppers. I'm actually gonna go ahead and plant two of these Italian hot reds. Uh, we wanna experiment with them. Our daughter and I, um, Samantha, we have a hot sauce company, Piercing Hot. And we wanna experiment with these red Italian chilies and we'll see what kind of hot sauce that'll make for us. So we're gonna do two of these. We'll do a kitchen test. If it works good, then we'll mass produce them or maybe it'll only be available in a, sh in a short quantity. Okay guys, all the peppers are watered in. We've got some extra space for some more. I'm gonna wait until those daytill peppers uh, grow a little bigger. I'm excited about those. There are daytills from Florida and they're supposed to be a sweet pepper. So I'm excited. So let's take a look real quick. I'm gonna go ahead too, guys, and I'm gonna end today's video and I'll post it. We'll just do part one and two. I've never really done that before, but we'll go ahead and do it. We don't want too long of a video. So we got some varieties of tomato, cherry tomatoes, uh, a couple of others too. That's a black crim. Uh, this is my favorite. It's a yellow pear a tomato, really nice. Beef Master, uh, Arkansas Wonder. We've got a couple of purple Cherokees. Uh, this one we purchased, this one we did start by seed. Uh, we do have a couple of jalapenos. We've got our scotchies um, that we started from seed. And we've got some jalapenos. And then of course, a couple tomatillos. Uh, we have uh, different varieties of peppers that we had got in the ground. Now, over here, I put uh, two uh, bell peppers. Um, this one, we got seeds uh, from Miss Lippy. So we're gonna test that out uh, along with um, the store-bought one. So we're going to call it a day. We'll come out here later when it starts to cool down, have a cold drink and uh, just kind of deep soak everything. And we're going to be harvesting some snow peas. So, hey guys, we're going to get up in the morning tomorrow. It'll be Sunday. It's going to be nice and relatively cool, upper 50s. I don't foresee any, any temperatures going to be below mid 50s any longer. So I'm, I'm confident that these plants are going to do good. Hopefully you enjoyed today. We still have a lot of work to go, but maybe you learned something. And guys, put the comments in there. If you've got something that you can do better or, or you wanna give me some advice, hey, I've been gardening for over 30 years, but I'm willing to learn. 
Being humble is everything. Um, we'll talk to you guys on the next video. God bless.